Welcome back to my channel, got another home workout for you, but this time it's going to be broken up into a few different sections. We're going to have an arm section to start off with, then we're going to go into abs, and then we're going to go into legs. So there's going to be five minutes on each part of the body, and then we'll be done. So it's 15 minutes, and we're going to be targeting lots of different areas. Still, it's the same principle of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Follow along with me, and it's going to be fun. So the first exercise that we're going to do are narrow press-ups. Now everybody knows what to do with the press ups, so just making sure your arms are in narrow, keeping a nice long line through your whole body. And we're gonna be going for 40 seconds, and then I'll demonstrate the next exercise. Are we all ready? Okay, let's do this. 40 seconds, let's go. Down nice and controlled, and push up. Keeping our elbows nice and close to our body. If you need to make it slightly easier, you can go onto your knees, but making sure you've still got a nice long body line on your knees. But if you can, stay up on your toes. That is great. We're over halfway. Keeping those elbows tucked in nicely to your body. Keep pushing up. We've got 10 seconds until the end of the first set. And three, two, one, rest. Okay, so that was the first exercise. The next exercise that we're gonna do after our 20 seconds rest is going to be W's on the floor. So we're gonna be laying down on the floor, face down, and we're gonna retract as if you're doing a lap pull down and create like a W, like so, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. So we're down on the floor and we're gonna be doing W's. You don't have to have your legs bent up like this, it's just for space. So W, squeeze your scaps, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and you're pulling down and squeezing, keeping your elbows high, and your arms parallel to the floor. So pulling back, you'll feel it in the back, right by your shoulder blades. Keep going, you'll feel a burn through your shoulders, but we've only got five seconds left, and three, two, one, and rest. Hoping you can hear me while I've still got my face in the floor. Um, but the next thing we're gonna be doing are wide press ups. So like the press ups we did before, but this time out here with your arms, okay? You've got five seconds left to rest and breathe, and then we're going again. And in three, two, one, nice and wide, out wider than your mat, press ups. Nice and wide, you'll feel this more through your chest. Some people find it easier. But if you can go onto your knees, if you need to, have a little bit of a regression. Keep pushing. We are halfway. You should feel this in your pecs by now. Again, go at your own pace if you need to have a little bit of a breather. Stretch it out and then go again. You've got 10 seconds left. And five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, 20 seconds. Breathe. Try and get as much oxygen in your body as possible. The next thing we're going to be doing, T arm circles. So you can either do this kneeling or standing. Completely up to you. But what we're going to do, so I have our arms out here and we're going to just do circles. And you'll feel a bit of a burn through your arms, but it's all worth it. Let's go. 40 seconds. Little circles. It may seem insignificant now. But by the end of a 40 second period of circling your arms, you're gonna feel it. Making sure you're keeping your shoulder blades pinned together to really hit those muscles. Now switch to the direction, because we're halfway. Keep going. And breathe. This isn't a cardio exercise, you should be able to breathe during this. Get your breath back, heart rate down but you're definitely gonna be feeling the burn in the shoulder blades if you're anything like me. And rest. Whew. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do, there's two options. You can either do, if you don't have a sofa in your house right now, you can just do tricep dips like this. Or if you've got a sofa, hang on to your sofa and do tricep dips like so, okay? We have three, two, one, next 40 seconds. Let's go. 
Keep them going. Keep them going. Oh, you need to have a break. Break and get back to it as soon as you possibly can. For me, arms is always the most difficult thing. Hence why I started with it, because hopefully things should get slightly easier. Well, depending on what parts of your body you're used to working out. And five, four, three, two, one. So that was the arm section. We are about to go into the core section a little bit. Now, with those arm sections, if you want to do this workout more than once to feel like you're having a couple of rounds, just go back, do the arm bit again, and then we'll come back to it. But for now, we're gonna have a minute rest, like I promised. Probably is downstairs with Nana, um, my mum. Uh, and yeah, so if you need to have a little bit of a stretch, stretch out your arms, stretch out your pecs, stretch out your triceps after those arm work, like arm exercises, feel free, be my guest, but take this time to breathe, get your breath back, get the oxygen back into your body, blood flow, and we will be going right back into it very soon. Now, the one thing I would suggest is that to get into a routine of working out is making sure you make a space in your house, home, wherever you've got to do it and also set a time for yourself to do it. But anyway, we're going to go right back into the core section of the workout. We've got 40 seconds on again, 20 seconds off, we're now going into the ab section and we're going to start with, don't start yet because I'm going to talk you through what we're going to be doing. First thing are crunches. So literally, there's different variations you can do, you can do it with your hands here like this, just crunch, you can come all the way up or you can kind of do your legs off the ground. This is the hardest one to do. I'm gonna go with this one, but you can go with this one, or you can go with that one, and you can modify at any point during this. Okay, here we go. 40 seconds, let's go. Let's do it. 40 seconds of abs, by the end of it, you're definitely gonna be feeling a burn. So if you need to modify to one of those easier exercises I just showed you, definitely do that. Everyone is at a different level. Everyone should do exactly what they need to do for their body. People should know how much they can push themselves. You can try and push yourself as much as you can, but if you need that break, take it. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna do 20 seconds on each side of side sit-ups. So you're going to have your legs together like this on one side and you're going to crunch up like so. Take a little bit of time to have a bit of a breather and we're going to start with our right side and then we're going to switch to our left side after 20 seconds. And we're ready, three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds on this side. Try and exhale as you come to the top. So you'll create a little bit more space for you to get up into your side crunch. Okay, and ready to change. Either roll over or switch around like so. We're gonna have another 20 seconds on this side. Keep going. Nearly there. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to be doing are some leg lowers. So again, there's a couple of variations of this. The hardest way of doing it is with our legs straight, like so, but if you need to bend your legs, that is absolutely fine to do that as well. Just make sure you're keeping your back flat on the floor. Okay, let's go. Back flat on the floor. Only go as far as your back stays flat on the floor. And if you're finding it difficult, again, you can go with bent legs. But just try keep them more about the control and the form you'll definitely feel it my head is <laughs> under my sofa you'll definitely feel it in your abs you might feel it in your hip flexors just try and continue to breathe this isn't so much about doing it quickly this is about doing it with control and engaging your core at all times and rest Oh, that one went quite quickly, which was a nice surprise. I'm going to do my shoelaces up now. Um, the next one we're going to do are bicycles. So it's basically we're going to bring our elbow to our opposite knee and keep alternating like so. And if you find that difficult to take your legs off, you can just do it laying flat like so. Are we ready? 
Three, two, one, let's go. Alternating elbow to knee. Again, if you find that difficult, you can just have your feet on the ground and you can rotate to each side with a little bit of a sit up. If you can, let's keep our feet off the ground. Makes it a pretty intense burn through your abdominals. Woo. Again, take the break if you need to, modify for a few seconds. I know I do because my abs are burning. And then we go again. Let's all finish it with our feet off the ground in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we've got 20 seconds before we go into our last in this core section, which are back extensions. So we're gonna go flat on the floor like this. We lift up and down, lift up. And if you're struggling to do both at the same time, you can either just lift your legs or just lift your upper body. If you can do both, let's do it. 40 seconds, let's go. Up, hold for a beat and down. Hold for a beat and down. Feel like you're squeezing your glutes and pushing your hips into the ground. And by pushing your hips into the ground, your body and your legs will lift up. Try not to think about coming up through your chest like this. Try and really stay strong and in control. Make sure I can see the time. You've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, rest. Well, that was the core section for a lot of you. I know for me, that definitely got a bit of a burn around the old midriff. Um, but yeah, it was something that I find really challenging to do abs for time because by the end of it, you feel so, you, there's such a deep burn, but you feel like you've got to keep going and keep going and keep going. Now the modifications that I was talking about in there, take the modifications if you need them because you're still going to be working your abs and you're still going to be challenging yourself. But if you can finish each period of time on the exercise it was meant to be, the harder version, you will definitely feel like you've achieved something. And you'll, the more you do this workout again and again, you'll feel more comfortable and you'll get to feel slightly easier. But anyway, that's enough rest. We're going to go right back into the next set of exercises, which are going to be legs. The first exercise that we're going to do is a squat and a reach. So we're going to squat and reach. Squat and reach. Okay? Simple as that. And it's going to be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off like before. So, up we're ready. Let's go. Squat down, reach up. Squat down, reach up. 40 seconds. You'll definitely feel a burn in your legs. Your heart rate will come back up. You might feel a little bit breathless by the end of it, but you go at your own pace. If you want to be going up and down really quickly, just make sure you keep the control, keeping your weight going backwards, so you're sitting down into your glutes. You can go as fast as you like, making sure it's controlled. So if you need to go a little bit slower, you do that. Okay, we have five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Now the next exercise we're going to do are lateral lunges. I might go out a shot a little bit, so you're going to get to lunge that way, and then lunge that way. Making sure when you lunge, your feet are in line, and you're sitting your bum back. You might have a little stretch through your inner thigh, it's normal, but making sure you're sitting your bum back. Ready? Let's go, 40 seconds, alternating lateral lunges. Like so. Making sure you're remembering to breathe, in this time, because like I said, well, with the legs being one of the biggest muscles in your body, you need to make sure you are breathing because you're burning the most calories when you are working your legs. So, breathe to try and get enough oxygen in your body to make it easier. Less than 10 seconds to go now. In three, two, one, and rest. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is a reverse lunge. So, you're standing forward at the top of your mat, you're going back, and you're lunging down, and back up, and we're gonna alternate our legs, like so, okay? If you find that one difficult to do with balance, just go forward and do forward lunges. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. The funny thing is, I've got reverse lunges on my sheet here, telling me what I'm doing and it's actually like auto-corrected to reverse lunches. And I'm sure lots of people are thinking about their lunch right now. <laughs> okay, 
but keep going. Alternating reverse lunches. Let's do it. Halfway with this effort. Keep working it. Go at your own pace. The more you put in, the more you get out. And in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so the next one we've got are sumo touches, like a deadlift. So we're gonna take our feet out nice and wide, turn your feet out, and we're gonna drop directly down and go as far as you can. Some people can touch the floor, but keeping your chest up, I can't touch the floor. I don't have the hip range. But we're gonna go down like this, okay. In three, two, one, let's go. 40 seconds, I'm gonna face you while we do this. Keeping your chest up, dropping directly down, making sure your knees are not dropping in, they're going out and over your toes. Yeah, hear Robbie there, give me another cheer. <laughs> okay, keep going. Over halfway, over halfway. Keep going. Your legs will be burning, your heart rate will be up. But that's the point of a workout, isn't it? You're gonna feel so good after this. We're gonna come together and just be like, yes. We've done a workout, we've achieved it. <laughs> and rest, oh, I forgot to say rest. We've gone, we went for 50 seconds there, so well done to everyone that carried on with me. Woo, okay. So, going into our last exercise, I'm gonna give you a 20 seconds, don't worry. It is squat jumps. So we're gonna squat down and jump up. Squat down, jump up, and reset in between each one. 40 seconds, last exercise, let's go. Squat jump, down. Squat jump, reset. Squat jump, reset. If you wanna make it harder, you can do continuous ones, but making sure that you're actually jumping off the ground. Again, you can use your arms to propel you up into the air. Making sure you're landing nice and controlled. These jumps will definitely get your heart rate up and it's a great finisher. Explosive power. And three, two, one. One for luck. Woo! So there we have it. That was our 15 minute workout where we first targeted our arms, then we went to core and then we went to legs. Now, if you want to do that whole circuit again, great. If you found it difficult, great. Then come back another time and do this workout again. Share it with a friend and see if you can measure and feel the difference when you come back to do this workout again. And hopefully it will feel easier and easier. But in the meantime, do not forget to subscribe. Share this video with someone that you think might want to try it, like it, and comment below if there's any other things that you want me to do on my channel. But in the meantime, I'll see you later. Bye.